In this demonstration, we're going to now connect to an Azure Linux virtual machine. Let's start by heading over to the Azure portal. Here we are in the portal, and as you can see, I've already pre-created a Linux virtual machine, which is SL-LinuxVM01. But before we go in and connect, let me show you some of the settings you need to be aware of when you provision the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and click New. And now let's select the Ubuntu server here to deploy. Just like Windows, we have to give it a name, VM disk type, etc. But if we look a little bit further down under our username section, we have two authentication types, SSH public key and password. If we decide to, we can create an SSH public key and paste it in here. But in our case, we're going to use a username and password. So if we go in here, select password, type in our username above, type in our password again, and then everything else pretty much proceeds in exactly the same way as we did in the Windows demonstration. I'm not going to deploy this now as I've already pre-created one, so let's close out of this and head over to our virtual machines. Here we are with our already deployed machine. And if I go in here and click Connect, you can see that it tells me to use SSH with the following command, SSH, SL admin at the IP address. In order to do that, we need to either open up a terminal session if you're using a Mac, or in my case, a Windows, I've downloaded PuTTY. PuTTY can be found at the following website, which we'll link in the course material. In my case, I've already got PuTTY installed, so let's go straight over to that and connect to our Linux virtual machine. Here it is on the desktop, double click in, type in the host name. In my case, I'm going to use SL admin at the public IP address I copied from the Azure portal. Go ahead and click open. It will prompt me for the password. Type that in and we're now connected into our Linux virtual machine. And with that, that concludes this demonstration.